All right, today I want to talk to you about tracks in the NPC Live. Now, there are six different types of tracks uh, in the NPC Live, three of which are associated with uh, programs. So just to start off, we'll name the first three and their associated programs. So number one, you have drum tracks, which are associated with drum programs. Number two, you have key group programs or key group tracks associated with key group programs. And number three, you have clip tracks associated with a clip program. Now the MPC Live comes with lots of drum programs for your drum tracks. You can find them by clicking on this icon here. It says drums. The MPC Live also comes with uh, many instrument programs or key group programs which you can find right here by clicking on the instrument icon. Other than that you also have clip programs that come stock with the MPC Live and you can find them by clicking on the clips icon here. Okay, so MIDI tracks, and MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. So what MIDI does, it gives me the ability to communicate musical instruments, electronic musical instruments with each other. For example, if I had a hardware synthesizer or a keyboard, I could sequence those MIDI events within the MPC Live on a MIDI track. Now the CV track, which stands for control voltage, or also known as control voltage gate, is similar to MIDI and is used to communicate between musical instrument devices, but it is an analog method of doing so rather than a digital method. Now the CV track doesn't apply to the MPC Live. As you can see, there are no CV ports on the MPC Live hardware. But because this is the same software that runs in the MPCX, uh, which does have the CV ports available, it is still here on the screen. Now the very last track, because I said there are six different types of tracks on the MPC Live, uh, must be accessed a little differently rather than here in the middle of the touchscreen. Uh, you have to look at the bottom because technically all the tracks that we just spoke about uh, use MIDI in some sort of way, uh, whether it's within the machine itself uh, or used uh, to communicate to other external devices. Audio tracks can be accessed right here on this tab at the bottom left of the touchscreen next to where it says MIDI and you just go ahead and click that and now we have our audio tracks available. So moving on I'd like to show you some basic track functions. So here I have um, a few things sequenced, a few different track sequences and uh, a quick way to maneuver through your tracks. If you look at the bottom of the touch screen, you have the word track labeled right there and a minus and a plus sign. So you use these to uh, navigate through your tracks easily. I can move up and down through my tracks with these. Now, if you like a visual view of the notes sequenced on your track, you can find that and edit those by going into menu and grid view. Uh, just so you know, also to the left of your screen, you have a quick way of accessing your grid view. Just look for the icon there. It's right under the home main screen. Click that. Now here in your grid view, you have the ability to zoom in and out. Uh, you can select certain notes. You can delete individual notes. You could also paint in notes. If you look at the bottom of your test screen, you have a bunch of other functions that you can use to edit your track sequence. And also, if you hold the shift button, a variety of other features are available as well. Once you have a few track sequence, you can go into menu, track view, and see a list of all your tracks and start coming up with a basic mix of levels. You can control the panning on your instruments for each track. You can mute and solo out. PC Live also has a step sequencer.
Now keep your eye up here. You can choose what sample you sequence with the step sequencer by selecting the pad before entering into your step sequencer. the ability to insert effects per track and use your screen um, and an XY axis to control the parameters of that effect. You can set it up here, choose what kind of effect you'd like. You also have the ability to determine the length of your track by default. Its length is the length of the sequence whatever that length is right now it's two bars I could change that make it a beat if you go into your grid view you can see that the note sequence now will repeat every beat you see by this yellow line that indicates that's what's going on You can, of course, uh, rename your tracks here by pressing the text icon. And by pressing the pencil icon here, you have the ability to access edit features of that track, edit functions for that track. If you'd like to come up with an arrangement for your sequences, by muting out tracks live while your sequence plays, you can do so by going into menu and track mute. This mutes out your tracks, unmutes them. You have the ability to create track groups, which allows you to mute out multiple tracks at once. For example, if I want to mute out all my drum tracks, I can put them within one group by clicking on them, then clicking a corresponding number. Note the top of the right of the pad. A number appears. So now if I go into track mutes again, playing my track, I can now mute all my drum tracks that are within one group by clicking one of the associated pads within that group. That's pretty much I wanted to show you guys today about tracks. I want to keep it pretty basic for some more in-depth tutorials. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about drum program basics, go ahead and check out my video on that. You can find it in my tutorial playlist. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you like. All right, take care. Peace.